Medication administration in a child care setting. Medication administration in child care is a critical aspect of providing appropriate care for children with chronic health conditions or temporary illnesses. Proper administration of medication can help to alleviate symptoms, improve quality of life, and prevent serious complications. It is important that child care providers understand the legal and ethical considerations, as well as the techniques and procedures for administering medication safely and effectively. Firstly, medication administration in child care is governed by state and federal laws, which outline the requirements for obtaining consent, maintaining confidentiality, and documenting medication administration. Child care providers must be familiar with these laws and ensure that they are in compliance to avoid legal issues. Secondly, medication errors can have serious consequences for children, including adverse reactions and even death. Child care providers must be trained in proper techniques for administering medication, including accurate dosing and timing, to minimize the risk of errors. They must also be familiar with the signs of adverse reactions and know how to respond in the event of an emergency. Thirdly, child care providers must also be aware of the importance of proper storage and disposal of medication. Medications must be stored in a secure and appropriate place to maintain their effectiveness and prevent accidental ingestion. They must also be disposed of safely to protect children and the environment. There are several types of medication that may be used in childcare settings, including over-the-counter OTC medications. These are medications that can be purchased without a prescription, such as acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and antihistamines. OTC medications are commonly used to treat mild to moderate symptoms such as pain, fever, and allergies. Prescription medications. These are medications that are prescribed by a healthcare provider and must be filled by a pharmacy. Examples include antibiotics, asthma medications, and medications for chronic conditions such as diabetes and ADHD. Herbal and alternative therapies. These are medications that are derived from natural sources and are not regulated by the FDA. Examples include herbal supplements, homeopathic remedies, and essential oils. These types of medications may be used as an alternative or in addition to traditional medications. Specialty medications. These are medications that are used to treat rare or complex medical conditions. They often require specialized administration or storage. Record keeping and documentation of medication administration is an important aspect of medication administration in childcare. It is essential for ensuring that children receive the correct medication at the correct time and in the correct dosage. It also provides a record of the child's medication history and can be used to track any changes in the child's condition or the effectiveness of the medication. Check with your state for specific documentation rules. In conclusion, medication administration in child care is a critical aspect of providing appropriate care for children with chronic health conditions or temporary illnesses. Proper administration of medication can help to alleviate symptoms, improve quality of life, and prevent serious complications. Child care providers must be knowledgeable and trained in the legal, ethical, and technical aspects of medication administration to ensure the safety and well-being of the children in their care. To get more in-depth training in administering medication to children in a child care setting, enroll in the three-hour course at Networks Training Academy www.networksllc.net. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.